Yeah, Bianca, all this is incredibly emotional for the organizer of so many of the events that we see here in downtown Raleigh. Shop Local Raleigh, of course, the organizer of the Raleigh Christmas Parade. She is hopeful that with some of the recommendations we have now that the Christmas Parade is able to come back in the way that we are used to seeing it in the safest way possible. We can always make things better, and that's not just here locally, but that's all over. We it's stood on Fayetteville Street well. with Jennifer Martin tonight. The more that we can work with people, the more that we can prevent things happening in the future. She's the executive director of Shop Local Raleigh, the organizer of the Christmas parade we all know and love, one that changed dramatically after the tragic death of Haley Brooks in 2022. One of the things that we believe is how you honor people and how you, you show that you've made changes. You show that you're doing things to, to change, that you're making things better, and safety has always been a top priority for us. Jennifer was in the room today inside Chavis Park as city staff laid out a future for floats and cars to possibly come back after a ban last year. It's good to be in that room. It's good to have, start to have you know these gatherings and meetings together. I'm hopeful that going forward there will be more meetings throughout the year. They are just recommendations at this point, but one includes having parade organizers provide proof of a recent safety check by a qualified mechanic. That check has to be done 30 days prior to the event. Another requires every float to have a working fire extinguisher on it. I don't know the timeline for all of that or how that'll work, but it does seem like the city is trying to get back to having vehicles and parades. The Veterans Day Parade telling Eyewitness News they're hoping to have vehicles because, quote, that makes a good parade but they're holding off comment until later this month when a final presentation is given to city council. Jennifer will be there too. How do we improve and how do we continue to just help our community come together and to be stronger and produce events that continue to be safe? Again, these are recommendations. We want to stress that there is still a process to go through, including a chance for you, the general public, to weigh in through an online forum that should go live here in the next couple of days. The city council meeting, Bianca and Joel, is happening here downtown Raleigh on June 18th. We'll be there for every step of the way. Back to you.